Hello one, hello all, welcome to this Saturday, November 7th special, special surprise unboxing here. Um, welcome to Willis Gredia, I am CP. You aren't, <clears throat> uh, just six days. Uh, something tells me that this tube here that I received, um, that's about as much as I can show you. There's a bunch of labels and shit on here. Um, I have an idea of what this is. Uh, I, I've been I've been forewarned and and prepared and and so on and so forth. Uh, what is up, Dale, Kara, my son, Jason? How are you? Um, so uh, I, I guess I'll get right to the. How are you, Joey? I'm, I, I've been better. I've been worse. But um, on the heels of the fresh news. Um, you know, we, we have some news as far as what our future is going to be. So, you know, stability of some sort is is nice to hear. Uh, please don't take that any deeper than what I what I said. I'm not talking about anything in particular. Ah! All right, so I'm trying to... Uh, all right, so there's tape on here. Um... I used to be a master at un unraveling tubes like this because this is all I used to work with at the theater in the marketing department. All you had to do is this is like basically half your day is unloading dumb marketing materials and tubes, and it, it was certainly fun. It was tedious, but you know there was there was some goodies. Um, all right, so this is one. There appears to be two things in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. It's not a box. Well, it's a it's it's cardboard. It's a it, uh, a tube. A tube unboxing is is probably what I should what I should call it. Um, so the first thing that was that was that I can get my fingers on box cutter. No, no, no box cutter needed here. Um, let's see. I guess we'll find together. Look like a top or a bottom. Top or a bottom. Top looks like a top because we got trees. Top, 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 top. Oh, sexy Rexy. Um, this is the Friday the 13th, 40th anniversary. This is, I think this is. 27 by 40. I think this is theater grade. Uh, I'll have you take note of all this here in the background. We've got dead people by the green Jeep. We've got R Ralph somehow still alive because, oh, wait, he does make it through part one, doesn't he? Yeah, he dies in the next. Wait, no. No. When did he die? The second one? He dies. I know he dies. Well, Whatever. Just a random body hanging out of trees here. There's Pamela just looking things over. Oh, there's the dude who gets the arrows to the chest. Uh, I think that's Kevin Bacon's body right there. This is fucking gorgeous. Um, for those of you who don't know, this came with the uh, brand new Friday the 13th box set from Shout Factory. Uh, I, anybody who's, who's sniffed this channel this year knows that I just don't have the money. Uh, it, it wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. And, uh, Eobard, uh, a very close friend of the channel who has, who has helped us in many ways, in, including food, like just, just helping us out outright. Um, asked me if, if I want, if I was really that into the posters. And I was like, yeah, I was like, as long as you're not like spending eBay money on this shit, then, then yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to turn a gift horse away. That's not the phrase, but fuck it. Um, this is sexy. I mean, it's, it's got some, it's, it's got slight, uh, travel damage, but I don't care. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
Now, is it sacrilege for me to put this up where that Dark Knight poster is? Is that is that taboo? <laughs> is that a big no-no? I don't I don't know. Uh, who gave that up? Loser. Well, apparently Eobard has multiple copies and this this was his duplicate, which I'll be honest if if I had you know, if this were six years ago, I probably would have done the same thing. I probably would have would have had duplicate copies and sent. Um, ask Peter. Ask Peter, a bearded movie guy. I I picked up multiple copies of this this really neat. They were giving away this this thing during Hateful Eight, and it was just a really neat collector's item. And I managed to pick up a couple and and um, had duplicates. And Peter needed one, so I sent it to him. That's it. You know, people look out for each other depending on what the situation is. Um, and we're all friends here. Well, maybe not all of us, but, you know, most of us. Some of us try and send, uh, well, let's just keep it nice and clean. Okay. This is hard to, uh, yeah, the, the way the box is kind of crinkled on the corners is, is why um, this is, a bit of an endeavor. And here is, I look so good coming out of the water. You do, Jason, you, you do. And mom watching on, just being so proud that you're not drowning. It, it's, a, it's a sight to see. Yeah. Okay, so that, there's no notes or anything inside. That is, ooh, did I hold it up? Yeah, no, it's, we're okay. We're in good shape, fucker. Send hate mail here. All right, so now I, I I know from what I know that this most of you have probably figured out what this is. I know this is a side to side. This looks the wrong way. Um, let's go this way. This one the the paper quality isn't nearly as pleasant. Um, it feels like like a matte finish. But still pretty fucking sexy. Um, all of the Jasons. Uh, do we have a Pamela sighting? Other than her head there on the bottom. No, no Pamela. Uh, I'm intrigued. We got a Roy at the bottom there too. What's that about? Interesting. No Pamela but Roy. And Jason X. Fine. 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 I'm not complaining. Uh, I guess your representation for part one is the bottom here. Eh. Uh, I don't know if you could see that. Just under my arm. Right here. Um, where I have confusion is this guy right here. Who is that? What what part? Which Jason is that with the zombie eyes? And don't give me this part six bullshit because is that supposed to be part six? Really? Uh, yeah, I guess that might be part six. Shows how much I know about my fucking favorite movie, huh? Yeah, I guess that's him in the cemetery with the lightning bolts on the thing. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I'll take it. Um, the color doesn't pop nearly as strongly off of this. Um, like I said, the, the paper quality is, it's a bit more of a m m manila uh, matte finish type foldy. Uh, fucking, will you just, I'm going to have to lay this out on a, on a flat surface for a bit. Uh, with with coffee mugs on each corner. Um, this is fucking awesome. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Look at that. So, so Jason's little lightning bolt thingy goes right down to his fucking tombstone, which uh, has a corpse in there. I don't know if it's his. Is that Haas? Uh, so we have we have part two. Wait, part one. If you can see that, part one. Part two, part 
three, part four. I want to say this is part three as well. Part five, part six, part seven, part eight. That's part seven as well. That's when he breaks off the mask. Uh, Jason goes to hell. This looks like uh, the remake. Jason X and uh, Freddy vs. Jason with the, with the Freddy marks. Fantastic. Fantastic work. Really incredible. Um, and I cannot thank Eobard quite enough because from what I understand these things are are, are going for quite a penny uh, online and if I couldn't get that like I, I I it was the one thing that bothered me the box set I know I know that thing's gonna skyrocket and you know technically I, I have I have the movies uh, I've, I've been down the road of owning a collector set that that got really really valuable really quick um so it's not like i don't know friday the 13th it's not like uh i don't have friends that will let me borrow the discs to see what what it is i'm missing but uh is there a small six by six box with that tube because if not you got fucked <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there was no spot. There, there wasn't supposed to wait. What six by six box? Was it that small? Uh, no, it was. Um, it was a gift. It was a gift that that merely um, Eobard had had duplicates uh, of the set and posters and knew how hard up I was. And I, I can't say thank you enough because uh, again, he could have literally just flipped those things on eBay and and. Had enough to buy another set, um, so it, that that's awesome. I'll have to. I have some serious, some serious ball thinking to do. As you can see, the eye from Willie's, you know, my my light set up there, the eye has fallen. So maybe I, uh, maybe I instead of have that. Dark Knight posters there. Maybe I flip and hold the sideways poster there to cover up that that paint chip, which had nothing to do with them banging on the roof for ten hours straight. But um, oh, it's even chipping more. Jesus Christ! Uh, all right, let me let me get to the chat. I'm sorry. Let me get my chat. Um, what are we up to? Wow, you guys are, are you guys just going at each other? It's just a Friday box set. No, just 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 the 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 if you bought this early, here's extra shit for you. That's that's what what that was. Those were the two posters that came with the set for people who who jumped on it early. Uh, again, another time, another place another financial universe i would have obviously jumped on it it's just 2020 is not my year uh same thing goes for the star wars set came out in 2020 friday the 13th 2020 uh there's two next gen video game systems that come out in a couple of weeks it's just like they know when they're giving me the middle finger so it, it's just a really <laughs> really ill-timed year for for new badass shit as far as cp is concerned you're right ralph died in part two oh, so i was i was i was right and wrong because i thought i thought he died in one all right yep yeah, all right all right second one watching Ginny and paul macking yeah they're getting their uh their groove on <laughs> They're macking it. Uh, I want this box set so bad. I I do too. Uh, the posters were a bigger deal because they're a bit more rare. Um, I don't know. It, as long as the box sets don't go too, too far out of print and too hard to get your hands on. 
Like it's something that once I'm financially more comfortable, you know, I don't mind paying a little bit more for it because I like I just I just don't have it now. So if I have to pay like one seventy five for it, I like I guess you know in a year or two, whatever. Uh, sure. Um, and like I said, I have people that that I know that own it that I'm sure will let me borrow the discs just to look at the uh, the extra shit and just send it back because I do. I have copies of most of the Friday the Thirteenth. I don't think I have Jason X in this house. <laughs> Oops. Um, hello, Scolder. No, the Friday poster looks better. Yeah, the anniversary poster. I would, I would agree. I would agree with that. What I want to watch is part three in 3D. All right, that's that's part of it too, right? The 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 third one is like n native 3D. It's not blue and red 3D. That's a pain in the ass. Trauma King. I have seen Voorhees, by the way, and. I don't have positive things to say about it. I don't know if you want me to go further, but that is the best summary I can give you as far as Voorhees is concerned. I don't have nice things to say about it. Um, there. Um, sorry for being MIA. MIA on YouTube just got back and call Orido a few days ago. Oh, <laughs> good state to. <laughs> visit uh yeah but nothing happened in this country in, in the meantime you're okay don't worry about it <laughs> yes they they did indeed jason uh part seven yep 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 oh please do uh i am without a gallbladder so if you start something called like gallbladder hour then maybe i won't be able to join but i i still have a spleen yo tim uh if, yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. yeah there's no there's no six by six box cody i don't think i got fucked i really don't i'm, I'm quite appreciative but i i understand your 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 meaning uh someday someday uh, i'm not in a rush although maybe we'll do something on friday maybe uh just me, because I'm, you know, Emily. Uh, I keep dragging Emily into into my my dumb ideas of torture and 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 marathons, and she's like, "But I just I just want to do stuff on my computer. What are you dragging me into your dumb bullshit for?" <laughs> so maybe Friday, I'll do a, a marathon. I don't know, telethon type, streamy type deal where we're, we'll we'll play games and stuff and. Try to raise funds for the GoFundMe, which you guys have been really, really, really strongly helping, whether it be sharing, uh, contributing, so on and so forth. Uh, we, we, we paid the cable bill. We sent the landlord some money, and that actually made him quite happy. Uh, we bought some food. Um, we, we bought a, lo a louder dog, so you can hear that. <laughs> Uh, there's other stuff we're working out with with uh, with other things. So uh, you guys have been tremendous. Um, some of you have sent, like literally, Dennis literally sent a Taco Bell gift card, which we haven't eaten shitty fast food in a very long time. And you you would have thought that we had some lobster and steak because we ate it fast. And that is not advisable for Taco Bell, but it was nice. It is part seven when Jason Jason's mask comes apart. He splits it apart in the beginning, and uh, I would have shown you, but there's like a crack, and, and, and on the picture, there's a crack going down the middle. Roy has my respect, but he ain't, ain't me. Hi, Michael Myers here. Okay. Credit where credits due. These posters aren't bad. Aren't bad. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Did you get the set as well? No, no set. It's it's just it's just to just to let you guys know what came in the mail. Here, it came in this. 
So you let me know where a, you know, it, it the, the right from the, the shipping box, it was quite clear <laughs> there was tubes and only tubes. Uh, I don't know of a Blu-ray set that can squeeze into this, but that's not a problem. Uh, I said it. I said it when when they first revealed it that the posters were really a big deal to me. Yeah, like I said, if I have to eat shit on the set somewhere down the road, I'll eat shit on the set somewhere down the road. It's the posters that like they're they're just already skyrocketing in price, and that one hurt. But um, again, ha have them now. Thank you, thank you so much to to Eobard. Thank you, Jason. I, I would imagine you'd have them all. <laughs> uh, what the fucking... Uh, um, um. Wait, wait. Why did this skip so hard? Um... Cody says, was there a tape oh. was, was there a tape recorder and some rocks in the box? Because if there was, it should be worried. No, no, I'll just call my favorite detective. We'll be fine. Um, oh, creativity. CP, what's your favorite 3131 in 2020? Oh, um, well, the one that we haven't done yet. <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Just to let you know, I I, I kind of told Cody, listen, I'm I'm spent. And he's like, how about another one? And I was like, fine. <laughs> just to just to let you know how how on board and how excited I am with the idea of 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 this upcoming series. I really, I really busted my tail way too hard. Way too hard and and um, again, as somebody who suffers from anxiety and a number of other issues, uh, I really tested the boundaries of my uh, mental capacity the the last 36 or so hours leading up until 31 and 31 on Halloween. Not anybody else's fault. I kind of made that bed myself, but whew, it's nice to know that if I need to, I can I can... I can edit 30 hours and in 36 hours. That was creepy. Um, not to get off topic, just curious. No, it's fine. Slamming and clamming. Uh, yes, please do. I just, I just want pictures of the set. That is all. And then I'll just put them like where they, they should be in my, in my collection. I'll just put a picture of where the, 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 the set would be. I, hey, listen, and I don't have Jason X in my house right now. If it came in some set, then obviously, sure, whatever. <laughs> mm. Did you really? You suspected that, huh? I, 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 I like. I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. From what I, what I've heard slash seen, Voorhees has a strong, a strong um, reaction. I am not in that base. I am quite, quite the opposite. I, I actually haven't said anything because. It seems that everybody's so wee ha about this, and I'm really trying to avoid being the the fuck face for at least another seven weeks. You know, January first, maybe I'll be a fuck face again. But uh, fan film, this is what fan films are, guys. Uh, you keep getting spoiled. There's the there's the the Santi bar. Then you have some people that are around there, like um, Halloween Inferno. Really strong movies. Very strong movies. Um, you know, not my favorite, but I, I'm not a Halloween guy, so I don't geek out about, you know, every little 
nook and cranny with that series, but it's a very strong, well-made food, food film. And um, yeah, you kind of, fan films used to be a bit of a taboo. Um, when you take 99 minutes and give me that, uh, I have a hard time. If if you run three campaigns to fund a 99-minute movie and push that out, I'd be upset. I'd be upset if I gave $5 towards that. Uh, I don't know if it's quality control. I, I don't know. This is, again, this is somebody who has failed at making films. That that needs to be said. Um, I have never completed a movie, but maybe to, to my snooty side, I've all also I've known with the footage that I've had and and the situation that's played out. You know what? This isn't going to work. This this won't work. This isn't good. Let's let's bail. Um, some people push through that uh, for better or worse, and I'm not one of those people. I think quality control is is somehow important. Um, I I don't know what the process was with this Voorhees film, but if if he, you know, let people see this before he put it out to the world, and they said, "Yeah, no, go ahead, great job." I'm disappointed in those people. Plain and simple. It's it's not strong. It's not strong anywhere. A gallbladder out at 17. Yeah, but do you have this wicked scar that's like boundering your uh, boundering your your rib cage because it hurts. And I have a staple that's still on my chest that fucking tickles my uh uh, it tickles the wrong word. If I lay the right way, it like scrapes up against my uh, my shit. Not fun. What did Glenn get me now? No, it wasn't Glenn. It was uh, it was Eobard, who also sent me soda, uh, either last week or the week two weeks ago. He sent me a box that was really heavy, and uh, you know, not not against him, not not his fault or anything. But it came in, and it was about the size of what an average-sized Blu-ray box set is. And I was like, oh, holy shit, this is it. Somebody sent me the Friday set. And I opened it, and it was four – no, no, excuse me. It was five orange vanilla Cokes and five orange vanilla Cokes in bottles, a total of ten. And I was like, oh, this is, this is good, too. Um it's unfortunate when your mind goes to like, you know, a plus and then you still get like a, and you're like, Oh, Oh yeah, this is good. Why did I think of the, the absolute best case scenario there? That that's, that's really foolish. The weight kind of fucked threw me off. Um, 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 Jesus, why did this skip? I never heard of that. You never heard that dog until now. That would drive me crazy. <laughs> Come say a week and then get back to me about being driven crazy. Yeah, I take rips from the bong. That's not too too jealous. What is up, Lev? Uh, I've only seen Troll too, and that's 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 Chuckle Hut. That's just a a, a laugh. Giggles, Giggle Central, <laughs> 31, 31 short films. Yeah, I, I'd be down for that. All my work, all my uh, studying done in less than a day. We are not doing Christmas 31 and 31. Uh, if you did not watch yesterday's stream on Cody Lee's channel, we are doing the big three uh, for New Year's Eve. And it's the true big three this time. It is directors Quentin Tarantino, uh, Christopher Nolan, and David Fincher. Uh, Kill Bill counts as one film. So total those up and you have 31, including 
uh, Fincher's Mank, which will be out by the time we get this done. The true big three this New Year's. Body horror, she said. You know how many people have suggested so many different things? And then we get we get critters. So uh, no, I don't think it'll be down in the wire this time. Barring some personal emergency or some shit, because it will it will be up on the thirty first, and that is that is the eve of when I can be um, evicted. So hopefully, I mean, I'm I'm gonna get to the movies faster. Hopefully, I'll edit it faster and didn't just kind of put it on the back burner. If we're bouncing around, packing and moving and hiding, there's that. Uh, you know, let, let's see how, how the weeks and months play out. You know, Telethon Friday. Let's get through the franchise with CP and take shots through along the way. Ugh. Ugh. I was disappointed in Voorhees. Coming from Jason, that's a lot to say. Guess you'll have to be the fuck face for what? What do you mean? Fuck face for what? Regarding what? Wait, what What did I say that I said fuck face? I think I did say I was a fuck face. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued to, to hear you say that because uh, if I look... All I could read is positive. Uh, yes. Yes. Clam slammer. That is it. It is zebra shit. Uh, and a lot. A lot of time to take up. Yes, Dennis. And I, I, I keep... I keep tossing and turning on whether or not I want to do a video just based on the all right guys we can't all make fan films you're, you're saturating the market you're just saturating the market and you're once again tainting the word fan film it's becoming what it was four years ago uh all that that goodwill that that stuff that had come out in, in 17 and 18 and um, stuff like Never Hike, uh, the the Halloween Inferno films, very strong films that, that are probably better looking and, and better made than half the franchises that they're homaging. Uh, but then we have some of these other things where, you know, there's there's effort going into them. There's just not I don't know. I don't think people are listening. Uh, like I said, the Voorhees project, it feels like that was a first cut that if, if I had made that film, I would have shown that to somebody I trust or, or four or five people I trust and say, what do you think? And then when they say, Hey, you got to take 50 minutes out of that movie. Then, you know, head back to the drawing board because it's too long. It's too long. It's way too ambitious. And the cinematography is, is dizzying. You don't know. You have, you have no grasp on where you are at any given time. Uh, no wide shots. Just medium, 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 medium. Except for when they have the fucking drone shots that just randomly, here's a drone shot, here's a drone shot, here's a drone shot. Uh, you just, you just have no idea where people are and, and like the geography of what things are. It's, it, there's something there. I mean, I'm sure you can kind of whittle it down and make something. It's just nine, not 90 minutes, period. Uh, that's, that's, that's one theory, I guess, I guess. Uh, in Colorado, is in short film uh, on set for short horror film, and the dude knew all about Never I Alone. That's yeah. I I mean, again, like there's this big, like line in the sand as far as fan films are concerned, and it all started with Never Hike Alone. It was like, oh, you can you can make 
you can make something that caters to fans and actually make a decent movie and kind of have everybody happy at the same time. Whereas something like Voorhees is, you know, there's four or five fucking Jason reveal shots. I mean, those are badass for a teaser. I'll, I'll give him that. If I, if I needed to make five teasers for that movie, he's got five separate shots that might sell a couple of tickets. But within the film itself, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, yeah, no, no, this guy has seen him before. What are we doing? Mm -hmm. I cannot agree more. Uh, what about Friday? a new Friday the 13th remake where it's Pamela killing again and right at the end when she gets, when she's about to get killed, her son comes out and kills Alice and the two off together roll credits. I'm okay with that. Uh, remake the first one with a bit of a twist and, and leave yourself an opening and not having to explain why, why you're, your dead drowned kid is suddenly aged and older and, and alive. Yeah. Yeah. Laparoscopic. I wasn't, I was supposed to have that. So I have the scars from the laparoscopic and then I have this big fucking raw pirate scar on my chest. <clears throat> Yeah, never hiking the snow is 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 the beginning. It's not the end. It's 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 the first part, which some people. Uh... Would you say it was the equivalent to a limp dick? What Voorhees? Oh, I don't know. I don't look at a limp dick nearly as negatively as perhaps somebody who has something more to do with a dick. Uh, I don't know, a sealed up vagina, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Where? No, it just did it again. I see your staple and raise my glass in my jaw that moves every time I speak. Glass. Don't you have to get that out? That's like bad. Glass in the jaw? Ow. Uh -uh. Uh, no, no shaking soda. Uh, anybody seen Abby? She was going to order me. What the? Huh? What? Uh, I'm just kind of cruise through here. What's up, Nathan? You said you didn't want to be a fuckface about Voorhees. I'll have to be. I, I'm trying to avoid it, but the more, uh, well, go go on, go on, go go be the fuckface, and uh, I'll concur. <laughs> I mean, my name's not in the credits, so I don't have any anything to ask to take my name off of. So there's that. There was a part of me that was pissed that my name was not listed in the credits, and then I was like. Oh, well, you know, even if it was listed in the credits, I would ask to not be associated with this because, you you know, oh, oh I'm already digging, already digging. Never mind. Yeah. Well, your, your name's in the, in the, in the credits, so you might want to review it. Voorhees keeps popping up my recommendations, but. That runtime kills me for some reason. Unfortunately, it was spoiled by Never Like Alone. So I'm looking for quality on par with it. You're not getting it. Do yourself a favor. Watch Never Hike Alone. Watch Never Hike in the Snow. And with the leftover half an hour, I don't know, masturbate with a cheese grater. That might be a better time. Yep. Yep. Of course, Zach. And, and I opened with this. Coming from a failed filmmaker. Eh, they did it. They made a complete movie. Uh, much more than I've ever done. So there's that. 
of course, uh, I've mm, I've had a little bit of quality control with stuff where I, I've worried about. I mean, like I. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a bunch of shit coming out. There is quality content made by competent filmmakers. Then there are fan films made by fans, not filmmakers, and it shows. Indeed, uh, n not much knowledge on on how to how to make film. More just here's a badass shot of. Jason, I can put a crazy fucking heavy metal sting to it, and that's all I need. Uh, yeah, I'm it's starting to get hot here for some reason. New York is just fucking hot. Uh, don't beat it with a cheese grater. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, right. So there it is. Um, two, two posters that are extremely valuable to me. I'll, I'll try to figure out where maybe I'll, maybe I'll rearrange here and now, cause you won't see it there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll rearrange that area there. Oh, wow. This is weird. This area here, I'll move the Dolby Digital sign and all that shit. Or maybe I'll get rid of the Willy thing here because the eye already fell. Oh, I can't do this backwards. That fell and took some paint with it. it there. And, of course, there's a Dark Knight poster right here, which <laughs> pretty pretty offensive to some Batman fans if I if I replace that with a big Friday the 13th poster, but I don't want people thinking that I'm a Uber Friday guy. I like other movies. That that's that's it. All right, it's getting really hot. I don't know if it's computer or outside or what, but um and I've been just ravaged by mosquitoes because of the temperature. In November. Ravaged by mosquitoes in November. Uh, patrons, be on the lookout. You'll have some behind-the-scenes stuff from last week. Uh, other people on the channel. I'm going to be talking about some girls dancing provocatively. That'll that'll stir the pot. 